Welcome to this quick tutorial for creating your own vehicle using Realistic Car Controller Pro. Okay, so first things first, drag and drop your vehicle model into the scene. Just make sure a couple of things here. First off, the Model S pivot needs to be positioned correctly and the forward direction of the model needs to point along the Z-axis. If your model has incorrect pivot, position, or orientation, it won't behave the way it should. Be sure you are using pivot in local mode in the editor while checking the model. Alright, now with your vehicle model imported into the scene, let's go ahead and open up the RCCP Vehicle Creator Wizard. We'll find this under the top menu, so the wizard here is going to help us set up our vehicle with the fastest and easiest way. As you can see, it automatically detects the possible wheel models and lets you select the wheels of our vehicle. You can also select your wheel models manually. Now we need to fine-tune some basic parameters. These values really help define how your vehicle will behave. Once you're happy with the preview, just click finish and the wizard will do the rest. The next step is to add colliders to the body. To do this, open up the vehicle collider wizard, select the main parts of the body and hit. It will create the complete vehicle with all the core components installed. Alright, now with everything set up, hit play and test out your vehicle. Everything seems to be fine right now, but we'll get into the details later. Let's take a moment to explain how the drivetrain system works. The engine is the main resource for the power. The power is then transferred to the clutch, which controls the connection between the engine and the gearbox. When the clutch is disengaged, the power from the engine is cut off, and the car will begin to slow down. Once engaged, power is sent through the gearbox to the differential, then through the axles, and finally, to the wheels which are responsible for driving the vehicle forward or backwards. The system is straightforward. Alright, now let's go ahead and add vehicle lights. In older versions, you would need to do it manually by selecting each light one by one. But it has been improved with help of the new Light Creator Wizard. To do this, open up the Light Creator Wizard. It will preview the possible locations of the lights. Click to edit light positions button to set their positions and rotations. The lights have pair on the opposite side, so you don't need to readjust the other light. Alright, with the lights set up, hit play and test out your vehicle. Again, you should see all the lights responding correctly.
Let's talk about the damage component. This component handles mesh deformation and detaching parts upon collision. Next, adjust the damage settings according to your needs. It will be installed with auto install option enabled, which means it will pick up all meshes, parts, lights automatically. You can disable this option and select which parts of the vehicle should be damaged. Alright, now let's go ahead and crash into something. Notice how the vehicle gets physically deformed. If the damage is too high, parts may detach. For example, if the damage exceeds some point, the tires will pop and the wheels will detach. Also, the damage component has a feature to save and load the data. You can easily save and load the damage data at runtime with one line of code. Let's move on to the next step. Attach the RCCP customizer component to your vehicle. This component allows you to change the body color, wheel models, spoilers, sirens, vehicle configuration, decal, neon, upgrades at runtime. Simply click to create button to create the corresponding system to install it into the vehicle.
Lastly, you can access all our CCP settings through the toolbar menu. Here, you can control global parameters such as the behavior, controller type, including mobile controllers, units, initial resources, and more. More detailed information can be found in the documentation. Next, let's take a look at the built-in vehicle behaviors. Feel free to try them out and see which one suits your game the best. Each behavior affects how the vehicle responds to input and physics. You can easily tweak the settings of the behavior type or add your own. Let's say you want to use the drift behavior. In that case, you need to switch the vehicle from AWD to RWD. Let's disable the front differential and make sure the gearbox is not connected to the disabled differential. should notice a significant difference in behavior immediately. That's it! You've successfully created, configured, and tested a complete drivable vehicle in RCCP. More detailed information can be found in the documentation. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.